chicas y chicos, yo soy Kaira Mayrima y nos encontramos en Esencia Oriental y como pueden ver, hoy no estoy sola, estoy con Alex de Lora <risa> hacerle unas preguntitas para conocerlas un poquito más Así que dentro de entrevista I don't understand anything <risa> But ok, I trust to Kaira <risa> So we just start I say hello to my followers mm -hmm. and uh, present you mm -hmm. Hola, hola. Oh, I know Elsa. Hola, Hispana, ¿qué tal? <laughs> hola, Hispana, ¿qué tal? The first one is, why do you choose Bali dance and not another dance? Oh, it's a very interesting question and I think I cannot answer to this really very directly because um, everyone feels some passion to something. And for me, for my childhood, I felt passion for belly dance. But before belly dance, I do. I started to do gypsy dance. Mm -hmm. And originally, I started from gypsy. But the love to belly dance always stayed in my heart. So I continue to do belly dance. <laughs> Have you got another a dancer in your family, or you are the only one? Um, my grandmother, she was a dancer too, mm -hmm. she was doing belly dancing. She's from Turkmenistan and in their country it's like a kind of something like a traditional dance and she, she was dancing too. Yeah, but right. she was not professional because she's my grandmother, so this is another time. And at that time, uh, for sure, professional dancer means a little bit another than now. Send a case to your grandmother. Yes! <laughs> but my grandmother, she's not a user of internet. So, but anyway, I sent to my grandmother. The Ukrainian style of belly dance is one of the most popular styles in belly dance today. So, how do you define it? I hear so many stories about the Ukrainian and actually Russian, Ukrainian and Russian belly dance mm -hmm. style, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to define it how, because I don't see ourselves from the side. I don't see. I see the difference that we are more active on the stage. Um, we use a lot of hair tones, a lot of back bends, and a lot of uh, lines from ballet. It, it appears in belly dance now. So um, maybe if to say what is Ukrainian style, it's the style where dancers are not afraid to do something new. Mm -hmm. uh, the style where dancers wants, want to break the borders. The style when everyone wants to be creative and want to create something new and special and show able to, to, to show, to impress, to express. I think the specification of Ukrainian style is our freedom. Maybe maybe we just sing very free. <laughs> what do you like most of belly dance and what do you list? Uh, of mm -hmm. Well, I like I like everything because I think if I would not like something in belly dance, I would not do this because I am not the person who do something uh, which which I would not want to do or I would not like to do. All my life I do the things what I want to do, how I want to do, and when I want to do. This is the belly dance. So I like everything, I like I like everything. And you, what you don't like? <laughs> <laughs> she interviewed to me. <laughs> yes, because, because it's an interesting question and if you ask, so yeah. it means that you have something. Uh, I think that the buy, buy um, between um, partners of elegance. I'm, I'm diva and you are less than me. I don't like it. Just, just yesterday we were speaking here with the student about this topic and um, we find that actually I don't know why it happened, why, why it is, because 
everyone is different. We all have a different body, we have different feeling for the music, we have different physical possibility. We are all different. And it what makes belly dance to be different and to feel this difference. And uh, when audience come to the some show, they want to see the show. And imagine for example if only one dancer perform and she likes I don't know some pop song or she likes Iraqi or she likes drum solo. It would be impossible to see all the concerts only pop song or only Iraqi or only drum solo. It would be boring. So it's nice that we are different. It's great because all together we do the beauty of the belly dance and everyone is the element of big beautiful art. This is a very important to understand. It's like, it's like a watch. I cannot say that ah, this part is more important than this, or this part is more beautiful than this, because if I don't have any part of it, watch will not work, or I will not be able to wear it. But all together, it's it's nice. <laughs> so. Everyone should be on the open place and everyone should understand their open power. Because, for example, if the bracelet wants to be the glass of the watch, it's impossible. So, um, we have the picture of the art and everyone is element of this picture. And we, sh we should not be like this. It should not be this, what you see. So, I, I cannot tell that I don't like it because I think that it should not be Because you see the good moments, the good uh, people, best uh, moments of belly dance. You don't see by another uh, situation, bad situations. Right? Yes, yes, I just love belly dance and I enjoy it. It's juicy. A lot of followers uh, told me um, Kaira, how I know my own style? Would you give some tips to find uh, her or his own style of belly dance? I understand your question because I receive this question many times also and the answer is more simple than everyone can expect and image. You just should to love what you do because if you do something with love, you are very open, very free, and you create something according to your inside world. And inside, every one of us is different. So, for example, you and me, we are different, and we cannot have inside the same scenes. So how can we create something similar if we are different? If we will take the same music, we will have different. Because we have different feelings, we have different listening of the music, different imagination about moments, different body in the end. So this is the style. This is the style when you are who you are. Just when you dance, be yourself. That's all. This is what will define your style. And a lot of dancers, uh, they think in borders, in some rules. Uh, when we visit workshops, we should to be able to work about information inside of us. Because we receive a lot of different um, information, but it's not constanta, it's not the history, it's not the rules. It's not the something what we must to follow only in this way. I think that um, there are a lot of people or there are a lot of dancers um, that uh, they think about. Um, yeah, I uh, I love, uh, for example, Alex Delora style. So I want to be like Alex Delora and. They are copied to the movement, the expression, the music, the costumes, and I think that it's not good, so 
you should to find your own uh, your own style of belly dance. It's important. About the copy, yes. Oh, when somebody copies somebody, it, it's not final product. We cannot call this one like a dancer, a real dancer with a open space. But to study and to start belly dance, it can be because how how can we find any style if we cannot do anything? And even the big singers, even the Michael Jackson, his first song was not right, written by him, by himself, right? He was training his voice on somebody's songs from some another singers, the same dancers, to train their own body, they use somebody's another choreography from from another dancers and this is the normal thing because we should we should have material to work with it but um, later of course trying different styles from different dancers uh, they should find that oh this movement is comfortable for me this feeling is comfortable for me this step is great for me this i don't like this i don't like this i don't like but this detail I like, but I would do in another way. So this is the way to analyze what you do. And only after this process, only after this cooking inside of uh, ourselves, inside mm -hmm. our feeling, we can call the product which we create, after this cooking, we can call it our food. But before, when it's somebody choreographies, it's not our food, it's our material to work. So we can try, we can do, we can take choreographies from different styles, but it should not be the reason to be proud of yourself. The proud of yourself should be when you start to create something your own. Because it's uh, really it's pleasure. And don't be afraid because I meet a lot of dancers who say that, oh, I cannot create choreography, I don't know how to do it, so I prefer to perform some these for workshops, but come on, relax. If you like the music, if you like to move, if you like just, <laughs> just to be happy, just to have fun with music, just uh, make play the music and record your own improvisation and take some moments from there, it will be the base of your choreography. Why not? Try. Be creative, don't be afraid. <laughs> I think that it's not the most important to find your own style of ballet dance. Mm -hmm. So I think it's most important to uh, enjoy your dance and dance by all. What is your opinion about ballet dancers with good technique mm -hmm. but don't know anything about ballet dance history? It's a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's usually as more dancer trains herself or himself, uh, it means as more she has passion to this thing. And if dancer has a passion to this thing, for sure, she or he will discover some details of the history and the culture. So, I think it's, uh, you say, about someone who is not real in the nature. The dancer with good technique but without knowledge. <laughs> Sometimes it can be that the dancer has a very good technique and it seems that he or she doesn't have knowledge about this. But, for sure, the dancer knows knows the rules, the history, the culture, the folklore, but they just create something new. They break the rules, they break the borders. And um, when the dancer just start to do dancing and uh, he or she do something strange and they call, ah, I break the rules, I break the borders. No, for sure, before to break the rules and borders, we should to know what we do. So, if the dancer has a good technique, but it seems that they don't know the deep seals, I think it only seems. Because to arrive to the level with a good technique, for sure, dancer discovered a lot. You 
create your Palladian's costumes. So, yes. why do you do your Palladian's costumes? Because I like it. I like the process. I like handmade scenes and um, maybe if you see my Instagram, I post sometimes scenes what I do with my hands. Just I like handmade and I do not only my costumes, I do different scenes. What do you find inspiration to create your costumes? <laughs> Inspiration it's a very interesting thing and sometimes it arrives very unexpectedly. Anything can can inspire. Well, I hear a lot of questions about the inspiration, not only for the costume, also for the dance, but guys, if somebody has some trick how to catch inspiration, share with me please. Because I don't have anything like I think like, oh, I need inspiration, so I will look at this detail and it will inspire me. <laughs> Never! I'm inspired by nature, yes, because nature always changes, because it's always different, and it has different shapes, different colors, different mood, different character, and it inspires me by the difference. I'm inspired by new meets with uh, different people, cultures, uh, countries, uh, and new different things. But again, the inspiration goes from the difference. So for me, inspiration is not some stable thing. How does Alex Laura feel when she is on the stage? It's a very interesting question for me because you call me in the third phase. <laughs> I don't know how Kyra feels when she's on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your, it's your turn <laughs> to answer this. <laughs> I feel for sure inspired because I'm in new places with new people, with new energy and even if I come somewhere second or third time or maybe even more, Anyway, I'm inspired because the audience always different. Every day they have different mood. And also I'm very sensitive to audience because I feel very big responsibility in front of people. Every time when I go to the stage I know that they expect something from me. And I don't like the situation like all oh, they expect so I must do the same. No, I don't try to be an expectation. But I try to be myself because people expect to see me myself. And I should to be in my best mood, in my best feelings, to give my best to this audience. Exactly today, exactly right now. So this is the feeling of contradiction, of fear, because I really nervous and I really worry before this, before performances. But at the same time, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I'm very, um, very full of this happiness and this pleasure to be in front of these people, to be in front of the audience. And also, I have inside feeling and inside satisfaction of the fact that I can dance. Because um, I know that in the world many people who just cannot dance, they don't have possibility and I think this is the feeling which should fill every one artist when we arrive to the stage. We are happy that we can dance, that we have hands, we have legs, we have everything, so we can move. This is my insight. And the last question is, tell us, tell us, for yes, me, <laughs> tell us uh, some tips to people who want to be a professional belly dancer. Only one tip. Okay. <laughs> it's a very big and deep meaning. I'm sure you hear it many, 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 many times. But try to think about this really deeply. Love what you do. This is the 
most important tip which I can share and this is the most important experience what I get from my dance experience. <laughs> so just be in love with every one step you do. Because when you love something, it doesn't make you to work, it doesn't make you to wait something, it doesn't make you to expect something. Y bueno, esto ha sido todo por el video de hoy. Esta ha sido la entrevista a Alex de Lora. No sé si Alex querrá decir algo más. You want to say anything else? I want to say thank you for your attention, guys, for watching Kyra's YouTube channel. And of course, thanks to Kyra for this great interview, for these great questions, for the time, and if she will not cut a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for her patience. <laughs> and if she will cut this scenes, <laughs> thanks for her being such a natural person. Oh, thank you. So much. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> si les ha gustado el video, ya saben que le pueden dar a like, a me gusta. Eh, se pueden suscribir en el botoncito rojo. Tienen todas las redes sociales de Alex de Lora aquí debajo. Así que nos vemos muy pronto en Esencia Oriental.